Dr. Hyman, I am so confused about this low carb, no carb, high carb. I don't get it. What should I be eating? Are carbs bad for you? Are they good for you? What should I eat? Well, I've got something surprising to say to many of my listeners who've been following my work for a long time. Carbohydrates are the single most important thing you can eat for health and weight loss. And you're thinking right now, Dr. Hyman, have you gone nuts? What are you talking about? Carbohydrates? I thought you were always talking about how bad they are and how they cause diabetes and diabetes and insulin resistance and heart disease and make you fat and everything. So why would you be telling us to eat carbs? Why? Because all plant foods are carbohydrates. And when I'm talking about carbs, I'm talking about the good carbs are what we call slow carbs. These are carbs that don't spike your blood sugar. And these are fruits and vegetables. And nuts, even nuts and seeds contain carbs. These carbs are very low glycemic. They don't spike insulin. They don't spike blood sugar, which is the key here. And you know why they're so important? because they contain all these amazing molecules called phytochemicals. So for example, broccoli, you could eat like 21 cups of broccoli and good luck if you can eat it. That's like 750 calories, but the net effect on your body would be not to spike your blood sugar, would not be to actually increase insulin, would actually be to fill your body with fiber and phytochemicals. If you have a lot of potatoes, probably not a good idea, especially the hybridized potatoes. But you know what? The little fingerling potatoes that come from Peru, those purple or red or little non-starchy potatoes, those are actually better for you. They have more phytonutrients. They don't spike your blood sugar as much. So you actually want to eat very original foods. Don't eat processed foods. Think about how far it went from the farm to your fork. If it took a lot of steps of processing, that's not good. But if it's a whole real fresh fruits or vegetables, those are all carbs. In fact, we should have 75% at least of our plate being these non-starchy vegetables and some low glycemic fruit like berries. That's okay. And then the rest of it is good quality fats and good quality protein to balance out your diet. But by volume, most of your diet should be carbs. By calories, it won't be, right? Because you could eat 21 cups of broccoli, if good luck, and that's only 700 calories. But the truth is you, you really get most of your calories from fat and from protein and very few from carbs. That's the key. High glycemic carbs are the bad ones. Pasta, bread, potatoes, rice, processed foods, a lot of grains, even whole grains sometimes can cause spikes in blood sugar. Now there's some other really cool carbs. One of them is called resistant starch. Now I'm gonna talk about this more later on in another blog, but a little preview. Resistant starch is a type of starch that doesn't spike your blood sugar, that improves insulin sensitivity and can even affect diabetes beneficially. And it also acts as a prebiotic to help fertilize all the good bugs. And that's another reason you want a lot of carbs because they provide fiber. They provide all the nutrients that help fertilize the good bugs in your gut. So remember, you wanna eat carbs, you wanna eat the right carbs, you wanna eat slow carbs, slow carbs that don't spike your blood sugar, 